Hi everybody, it's Dr Biology and I'm Dr Chemistry today and I'm going to be talking about the advanced material for GCSE Chemistry higher tier today in AQA. So here we go. So first of all, what have AQA said? Well, they've said that the format and structure of the papers remains unchanged. So it's exactly the same uh, format as previous exam papers. Um, this paper, the paper, the list shows the major focus of the content of the exam. So I'm going to talk about the major focus and what that means. Um, each paper may cover some or all of the content in the listed topic. Another list shows which required pr practical activities will be assessed. Topics not assessed, either directly or indirectly, have also been listed, although in chemistry there is not a lot that has is not assessed. The information is presented in spec order. I'll talk about what specification is, not in question order. Um, assessment of practical skills, math skills, working scientifically, they're all the same. And for some reason, it is not permitted to take this advanced information in the exam. But I'm unsure why you'd want to in the first place. Uh, right, so advice. This is the advice they give. OK, so basically it's saying revise everything. That's pretty much what it's saying. Um, topics not explicitly given in any list may appear in the low tariff questions or via linked questions. Low tariff just means uh, low marks, so one mark or two marks, for example. Um, the students will still be expected to apply their knowledge to unfamiliar contexts. Right, OK, so you hear a lot about specification codes. So spec codes can be found at this site here. Um, the, this is what your teachers are using, actually. This is what your teachers use to help them formulate their curriculum plan and what they're going to teach you for the exam. So it's quite a good kind of thing to look at because it tells you exactly what you need to learn. Um, you'll notice when you look at it that it has subject content. So this is all the subject content that you might be asked to learn. OK, and then you can see what we mean by spec code. So spec code 4.2 and then 4.2.1 and what it is and what you need to learn for chemical bonds, for example. Right. So this is paper one for GCSE chemistry higher tier. And you can see the major focus there. It's very uh, balanced between all of the um, topics in paper one. You'll notice periodic table and then lots on bonding structure and the properties of matter um, in terms of major focus. Quantitative chemistry, so looking at the masses of pure substances. All of chemical changes is there, including two very important required practicals. So I, I think chemical changes is going to be a very important section of work. And any cha energy changes as well looks like an important part of work for exothermic and endothermic reactions and also the temperature change required practical. Notice there is only one topic that is not assessed or not linked and that is bulk and surface properties of matter including nanoparticles. So you can see the required practicals you need to know one, two and four. Paper two. OK, so again, not so balanced as paper one. You can see there's a big focus on um, rates of reaction, um, particularly the required practical at the top there. Organic chemistry, the carbon compounds as fuels. Chemical analysis, not a major focus, but it could still be there. And particularly identifying ions. So I'm pretty sure you're going to need to actually learn aspects of this topic to help you with the required practical. Um, chemistry of the atmosphere, so evolution of the Earth's atmosphere, but they will not assess you on carbon dioxide and methane as greenhouse gases. OK, so there's nothing on uh, greenhouse gases. Using resources, so that seems to be important again, so particularly the Haber process and using the Earth's resources and obtaining potable water. So what does that mean? 
for you. So let's look at some takeaway advice. Well, basically, very few topics have been removed, so you will need to learn everything, okay? It's not just the major focus parts. You need to do them, do all of it, really, in terms of making links. As I said, chemistry is very linked. I spoke to a chemistry teacher and they said that it's very hard to separate out different topics. You're going to need to learn key terms. I think key terms are really important in all of your sciences. This is a bit of advice I was looking online for, and it's, it's saying it's worth learning 4.1.1 atoms, elements, and electronic structure, although it's not a major focus because it is linked to the periodic table. It's also linked to some of your physics paper as well. As I said earlier, identifying ions, where well, you're going to need to recall chemi uh, chemical tests to identif identify ions. So you're going to need to learn 4.8.3. Right. OK, so I hope you found that useful. Please do subscribe to Dr. Biology. I intend to do some chemistry and physics um, videos moving on. But please do check out my other videos. I'll see you soon.